you have this passion, if you feel um, emotionally connected to the students and are, um, you have this great desire to transmit, to help them to get something and transmit through your experience uh, something positive to them, then I think this is the best job in the world. Kumon has changed me a lot. Now when I see a child, it's always like, okay, there's potential in there, you know? And this is what you actually get in Kumon. It's not only the math and the English, what you get from it. It's the extras, what you get, and the passion of an instructor, which wants to always develop the child. <laughs> It is it is good that they get the habit as early as possible of having a homework even like 10 minutes a day or 20 minutes a day of just having to do something, uh, sitting down, uh, focusing, you know, so I think that's the, maybe a, a good advantage of starting uh, early. I mean, for me as a teacher, is doing wonderful math is one thing, but the work habits is much more important in the beginning because that's what you carry for life and you carry it to other subjects. Er arbeitet auf jeden Fall strukturierter jetzt, hat auch ganz klare Sicherheiten wieder in Mathematik gefunden, auch den Spaß wieder dran und ist im Notenschnitt wirklich eine ganze Note in Mathematik wieder gestiegen. Sie können mir glauben, dass ich jeden Tag eine Menge fantastische Feedbacks von meinen Schülern bekomme. Und je länger ich Instructor bin, je wunderbarer sind meine Erfahrungen jeden Tag. Now, this type of emotions that they bring to me through the actions is, um, is incredible. And this happens uh, regularly on a daily basis. I can say that in these four years, there has not been one single day, really, where when I woke up thinking, oh my God, I have to go to work. No, I was always thrilled and full of energy, thanks to the student. gives me goosebumps every time I see it. Hello and good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm super excited to welcome you all. My name is Julia Ertl and we're live again this afternoon. Um, I have a very special guest with me today. I have uh, Ms. Angelika diaz um from our Kumon Learning Center in Großgerau, which is uh, in Germany, which is a part of beautiful Germany. Um, today. So good afternoon, Angelica, and hello to you. Hello, good afternoon, Julia. Hello, and good afternoon to everyone. I'm also very excited. <laughs> um, I'm very pleased to also see a large amount um, of our audience uh, joining already. And um, don't remember, uh, don't, don't forget, we are streaming live um, on a weekly basis on our Kumon um, channels. If you have a question or are curious to know more, feel free to use the comment section below under this video. Um, drop us a message via the messenger after the event or during the event, and we will get back to you um, during or after the event. And I'm happy to answer all your questions that you're having. Without our Kumon instructors and amazing assistants, Kumon wouldn't be possible. And Angelica, you're with us today um, to share your experiences with Kumon, not only from the viewpoint of an instructor, but also as an actual Kumon mom, because your journey started as a Kumon mom. Um, the journey hasn't been um, usually like the usual one, let's say, especially during the last year. And it was not only exciting for us, but also for a lot of children, because instead of meeting the instructors in the center, they saw um, the instructors online. And I'm sure a lot of our viewers that we're having right now are curious to know what this journey was like for you also from a viewpoint as a Kumon mom, but also as an instructor. Ah, okay, Julia, thank you for the question. Well, as you already mentioned, I start my... Uh, my uh, common way or my common path some years ago with my daughter 
uh, she had some problems in mathematics. So we were searching for uh, uh, some help for her to, to help her with her mathematics uh, abilities. And uh, we just find out that near us, there was a common center. And we just went there to look at it and to see what was it now on. I was actually in the first time I was there, I was already quite uh, convinced that that was the, the good thing for my daughter. And I was um, very surprised how he changed, how she changed herself. Like uh, she was always afraid of doing mathematics and, and suddenly after working with Kumon, she just got self-confident and she said, I don't need more help. I can do it. I will try. And for me, this was a great change. So I, I was very happy with the, with the results. And then last year, I got the opportunity to overtake the cross crowd center. And I was really, uh, I was feeling really excited about it. I, um, well, the, the instructor that was before wanted to go uh, in the retirement. So I was actually a little bit uh, sad that my daughter could not make a Kumon anymore. And then I was thinking, okay, let's, I will give it a try. Yeah, I was looking for a new chance in my life. And I say, I think that's for me because working with the kids is really nice and it's something really excited and you learn so much from the kids. And well, last year I started to do, let's say, like uh, some kind of voluntary job there to see how it is and to really convince myself if that was for me or not. And I like it. I like the work there. I like the, the kids, how they teach you, how they show you, how real they are, you know, they, they just cannot uh, hide it if they, they are so authentic. I, I love that. And I was thinking, I, I'm the good person here because really working with them give, gave me so much and uh, I was so happy. I was even staying longer and, uh, you know, you stay longer and you don't care because it's actually a, a nice job. So mm. I, I, I decided to take over, but then this, uh, this situation with Corona changed a little bit everything and yeah. we had to adapt, no? <laughs> Yes. The only thing we could do was adapt. So I overtook the center, but we had to change to, to Zoom, to internet and so on. And some kids already knew how, some others not. And mm. it was a big challenge for all, not only for me, because I was new, I was starting as instructor, but also for the kids, because they change the, the person, so the, the instructor is now different, no? Mm -hmm. And now we have to go to internet or to computer and I don't know the person who is there or, or it was a little bit challenging, I will say. Mm -hmm. But what I learned that is that actually the kids sometimes are more flexible than the adults, you know? For mm -hmm. them, it was nice to be on the computer, just discover new things. And uh, there was a girl asking me, are you in the center? And I was, no, I am at home. Why? But did you paint your wall like with Kumon? And I say, no, no, that's the background. You can change it. And she was really thinking I paint at home my wall with the Kumon colors, no? And I was like, no, no, look, you can change it here. And I show her. And now every time she's joining, she has a different background. So it's, it's really nice to see how they can develop more skills, no? So it's for them not like a, 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 a point where they say, no, I, I don't want to try new things. I don't want to, to go, I'm scared of doing. I only want to go to center. No, they go to the computer and click here. And I ask them, I will change to the room. Do you come with me or do you stay? No, I want to be in the room three or two or they know many things, you know. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how fast they learn. And I think it's because they are uh, flexible, flexible enough to give it a try. No? I think that's a great mindset that you're setting there. But also it's so it's so true. Like I I, I thought it was remarkable every time I'm joining any any online class. I'm I think it is so remarkable how easy children seem to adapt and also how curious they remain I think this is amazing and like small changes you know but that's also that's also Kumon and I think that's um you know no preparation for today's 
talk that we're having, you beautifully described that Kumon is by far more than just English and mathematics, but children are learning so many skills for their life, basically, um, you know, which you also experience already as a mom. And now, you know, as an instructor, I think it's a really beautiful journey. Um, how what can parents expect maybe we can you know talk a little bit about that as well so what is you know we we know that kumon is is great for 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 every child but um also maybe why you know what 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 can kumon parents expect maybe or what can they you know when they um when they are enrolling how does it how does it work is it the instructors how do the instructor for example work with the children um maybe you can also share a little bit about that Okay, there's um, the possibility to do enrollments online, and I know it, but uh, for me, I decide for a different variant too. I like the first time to meet the parents and the kid, so and the kids, so I can have a feeling of what kind of personality they have and how they interact also with other people. So for me, it's really, really important to meet them in the beginning. So uh, what I do is actually I uh, make an appointment where the parents and kids are coming to me to the center. I don't have any other kids around. I just have, I just concentrate on them. And afterwards uh, we do this uh, test, like a kind of, it's not really a test. I will not call it a test. It's like kind of an exercise to see where the, the abilities are, where the capabilities and where we could start. What would be a good start point for, for this kid, no? It's like, let's call it more, more not test, but like an um, exercise to see where we could start. Mm -hmm. And from there, I, I can then uh, decide, okay, uh, which path to go, because each kid is different. And this is the nice thing of Kumon. You, it's, not, uh, uh, it's not fixed. You can adapt completely to the kid's needs. And this is what I most like about that, that it's everything can be uh, done as required. No? And it's not like, like in school where you have to meet those times and meet those uh, subjects. And so, no, here it's like we can adapt to whatever this kid needs. And this is nice. So I, after doing this uh, test, not test, but exercise, then I uh, decide to go for a kind of hybrid method. The kids can come to my center once a week and we do once a week on the Zoom session. So I keep it, I keep it person because I think this contact person is very important and I also have very nice assistants that loves kids and they also love to go there because they are also so nice mm -hmm. and this feeling you know I have sometimes the comments from the parents when we have really to close because of corona there have been some times where we have to close completely where they call me and tell me Angelica you need to open because when your kids go to your center they go out full motivated to come again. And when you close, then I don't know how to motivate them. Yeah. <laughs> so really, uh, it's nice. And it, I think it's important to come to the center to get this push, this motivation, this I, I can, you know. And of course, I try, like, it's not possible to have all kids twice a week because of my capacity at the center and the corona restrictions. Then I do one week center, one week online. And like this, I think I can develop two different skills now. At home, I can see how the kids work. And at home, I can also give them some tips to know, okay, uh, maybe you sit different or maybe also I, at home, I can see other stuff that I don't see at my center, no? Right. And at the center, I can still uh, coach them uh, as I normally do. So I think it's good that they actually do both. I think that's a really, really great point that you're talking about here, because this is indeed so true. You observe different, different things online and on site, like in the center. And I think it is so um, yeah, beautiful and great that you describe it as, as a combination because this is exactly how Kumon is working nowadays. So probably, you know, also it started off differently, but also, you know, of course, also out of last year, but also generally, I think the, the a lot of centers are working both now hybrid, as we call it, so online and offline. And it's not simply, of course, happened out of Corona, but I think what's the great advantage of it is that you can see so many different facets of a child. And so, you know, you can support it even, 
individ more individual, I feel like if it's even possible, Kumon was already so much individually, but if it's even possible, it's now even more uh, for each child. Yeah, you, you see how they prepare also themselves to work. This is something we could not see really at the center because everyone is doing it on the same way. So they copy to the other kids and this is mm -hmm. easy to control at the center. But at home, you see exactly the kid that is standing up and bringing a pencil and then standing up again and bringing the eraser and so on. Or the kid who already has everything and starts. No? So, and you can give some tips no? and you can... You can actually coach more when you see how they actually work also at home. I think this is a very nice perspective to see both. 100%, 100% agree. Mm, we mentioned at the beginning, because you're not only an amazing instructor, but also a very proud mom of five beautiful girls. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know. And um, you, it's incredible, I have to just say, because at least two, I know, are uh, really your mini me. So yeah, it's just adorable. And we were lucky enough to meet them before. Oh, well, you recorded them before. And um, you gave us a glimpse of what it looks like, um, you know, of your own children. So I would love to also share with our audience. Uh, yeah, I will just like to say something before. Okay. Um, yeah, Maya, it's one of my girls, she's doing also common already for some years. Yeah. And now my other daughter that she's not able to start now, uh, well, she will start now with school, but he, her last year in kindergarten, so that's like preschool year or the year before, in Germany there was, uh, well, sometimes it was open, sometimes closed, and normally they do in the last year some work preparation for school, a little bit, no? a little bit of work for school. And mm -hmm. this year was kind of difficult for because the kids were not joining regularly the, the kindergarten. So I am so proud to say that Luisa is full prepared for school. <laughs> and I am so happy I could I could help her with that no? because in these times, Sometimes we we have to do a little bit more because it's not it's not how it's just to be no it's just difficult different and we have to adapt so I just want to say as proud mom I <laughs> I am so proud I could help her and she's full prepared to go to school. <laughs> Amazing, yeah, and we already got a glimpse, and I can just confirm just <laughs> out of what I saw. Um, she did really amazing. So let us have a look on what Luisa is doing. Luisa, jetzt sag mir mal, warum machst du eigentlich Kumon? Weil ich einfach lernen will. Was hast du von Kumon schon gelernt? Plus, minus, aber noch nicht mal. Und was hast du von Englisch Kumon gelernt? Schreiben und lesen. Hast du vorher nicht schreiben können, Luisa? Erzähl einmal. Ja, schon ein bisschen, aber nicht so viel. Und äh, willst du noch weiter das Kommen machen, Luisa? Ja. Was glaubst du, was du als nächstes lernen wirst? Vielleicht bei Mathe mal. Und bei Englisch. Englisch. Kann, was kannst du schon aus Englisch sprechen, Luisa? King, ring, sing, toe, mouth, birthday. Sehr gut, Luisa. Dankeschön. Und Vater und Mother. Sehr gut. Dankeschön, Luisa. The woman has a ring. The woman has a ring. The cat is walking. The cat is walking. Sing. Sing. Long. 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 Mouth. 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 Birthday. 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 Ring. King. Hallo, ich 
ich bin Maya und bin 13 Jahre alt. Ich bin in der siebten Klasse und habe mit Kumon angefangen, als ich in der vierten Klasse war. In der vierten Klasse hatte ich Probleme in Mathe und ich wollte aufs Gymnasium, deswegen ähm, musste ich besser werden in Mathe. Ähm, dann habe ich Kumon gefunden und wollte es mal ausprobieren und es hat mir dann gefallen, weil ich dann auch besser in der Schule geworden bin in Mathe und so auch aufs Gymnasium kommen konnte. Ähm, mittlerweile habe ich schon das Niveau über meinem Schulniveau erreicht und kann jetzt auch schon viel mehr Sachen als die Mitschüler in meiner Klasse. Somit kann ich mich auch mehr melden in der Schule, weil ich die Sachen schon kann und gut verstehe. Und so bekomme ich auch bessere Noten und das gefällt mir, wenn ich gut bin und gute Noten habe. You know what I personally particularly love so much about both of them is with how much confidence they are talking. I think that's just like when I was watching it for the first time, I was just like, okay, <laughs> those those are some really powerful girls that you're having there. Incredible. Yeah, I'm I'm so happy I can support them and I can support all the kids that are joining my center. It's really an amazing experience and I learned so much from them and this what you see now is uh, it's what it makes this, this job just great. No, it's what it gives you the motivation. Like you say, yeah, what I'm doing, it really counts. It counts for me and it counts for those kids that they have this feeling no, that I'm good. You know, this is a really nice feeling. Yeah, but also with how much, like, especially, especially the little one, with how much self-confidence she was just also reading, you know, like the English words, I was just like, that's, that's amazing. Went without questioning, it just, just say, that's really amazing. Really beautifully done. Um, so maybe uh, already coming to an end, but um, I do see some, uh, you know, of the audience also, we have uh, guests today from, from France, as I see, but also from Greece and Bulgaria and Romania, also from Germany, um, as I see those. So probably we do have parents watching, you know, also just saw uh, Maya and Luisa also big thank you to them that they were brave uh, enough, you know, to be recorded and to show what they um, you know, sh share their stories um, also on, on, on Facebook today with us. But if, have, if there are any parents out there watching us right now and they think, you know, this is exactly what I would love to my child, but maybe they're a bit hesitating because, you know, of the whole Corona situation, summer is coming up, everyone needs a break, like these kind of concerns everyone is having. Angelica, what would be a message that you would like to have out there for those people? Probably a bit hesitating, maybe a bit insecure. When is the right time to enroll? What is the kind of message that you would like to give them? I think if they are thinking about it, they should just give it a try because what the kids learn in Kumon is not only English or mathematics, but they learn skills and this self-confidence and this nice feeling that I can do yeah mm -hmm. and i think that is something important not just for school but in it's it's important for life you know to to have this self confidence i can learn something and i can master something and i am able to manage you know i think it's it's important to learn that and if you learn it as a kid then it's it's always easier to to accomplish your goals so i will say give it a try i mean you cannot lose anything it's just giving your kids extra abilities. So I will say, just try it. Just try it. It's a very common sense, isn't it? <laughs> yes, that's it is. Beautiful. I think that's, that describes it the best way. It's really beautiful words, Angelica. It has been a pleasure to be with you on today. Um, we are already past it. As I said, it's going by so quick. Uh, these live events and I adore every one of them because we always have such nice guests. Um, as I said in the beginning, if anyone has a question, um, as I said, I do see some people joining from all around Europe. Um, we, of course, also do have centers, not only in Germany, but uh, in, in more than 15 countries um, European-wide. So 
get in contact with us and we're more than happy to get back in contact with you as well and answer all your questions. Thank you so much, Angelica, for your time today and for joining. Thank you to your girls uh, for letting us be part a little bit of their common journey today. And I wish you all the best. Uh, good luck. Hopefully, less uh, COVID situation very soon. So you will welcome way more children uh, in your center. And um, yeah, provide them all the opportunities in life that they deserve. And I hope I'll see you soon. Yeah, thank you, Julia, for the nice time. And thank you to everyone for watching. And yeah, maybe see you next time. <laughs> you next time. Take thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.